to the cloud. Okay, so I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited to be here with you to talk about parties. I kind of nerd out a little bit when it comes to parties. I, um, I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I think I have my way of doing my parties and they've gone really well and I get a lot of compliments on them. I actually was asked to do a training in the Chic Influencer community on running online parties. You know, that is for entrepreneurs in all kinds of different direct sales companies. So it's just something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I feel like I'm good at and I've gotten really good results from. So if there's anything that I can share with you today that is going to help you make your parties better, I am all about it. I think sometimes it's easy to say, I don't like parties or I don't want to do parties because they can be a lot of work. But what I have found is that the doing parties is just the foundation of my business. It is the one thing that when business feels slow or I feel like my funnel's not full, like I don't have a lot of prospects, I always find myself coming back to parties. You know, the more parties I get on the schedule, the more my business just roles, you know, whether it's sales, whether it's getting myself out in front of more people who might be interested in being a rep. It's just, it's just making those connections and getting myself out there and as, as well as Zaya. So that's why I love my parties. I'm excited to talk about them today. You're going to hear all kinds of different ways to do parties, but I feel like there are a few things that I do that I'm proud of that I hope you guys can take away from this. So I'm going to share my screen here. I think the waiting room was disabled, so hopefully people will be able to just pop in as I'm chatting here. And if you have questions, please use the chat. It takes me as half a second to get to the chat because I have my screen shared and then I have to go check it out, but definitely pop any questions there in the chat. Okay, so here's my running parties. Okay, obviously, we, most of us know what parties are, but in case you don't know what a party is, it's when you have somebody who, you know, the reason I'm saying this is because you guys, I had never been a part of a party before. I had never hosted a party when I joined Zaya. Like I didn't even know what the point of a party was with these social media parties going on. No clue whatsoever. So I was a total beginner when it came to the party scene. So in case you're not aware, uh, it's when somebody hosts a party, they invite their friends and family to check out Zaya in hopes of getting free and discounted products. You know, obviously you can do it online. Most people are doing their businesses online right now with COVID and everything with social distancing. Some people are doing outdoor parties, which is really fun to see. They go out on decks or garages or whatever it might be. But anyway, so just one person's hosting a party or a group of people. And depending on how many sales the party does, the hostess is going to get rewards so they're going to get free and half off items and then you as the rep are going to earn commissions for that so it's kind of a win-win you come together as a team and you both have you both have benefits to running a party so definitely be working with your hostess and we will be talking about that so why run parties the funny thing is oops the funny thing about this is that um oops hold on why where am i going why run parties? Okay, you guys, I, like I just told you, I like preach parties, right? And like whenever my business feels like it's off, I don't have people in my funnel, I'm struggling with sales. Like if anything feels like it's off, it's because I don't have parties going. And I lately in the last, like probably two or three months have had a couple of reps come to me and tell me, we know that you like really like parties and stuff and we were bound and determined to prove you wrong. Like we don't need to do parties. We can still like kill it and we don't need to do it. But then they started running parties and guess what? Their businesses started to, <laughs> started to grow and they started adding to their team and they started getting more sales and they're like, okay, so maybe we should have listened to you from the beginning. <laughs> so I tell you that because it's, because we've all been there. I've even gone through moments where I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I don't need to run parties. But even now I run parties. I do it frequently. I have, I double book some weeks, you know, I, I run parties. So it's a great platform for networking with other people. It broadens your circle really quickly because your hostess is coming in and she's like, hey, come meet all my friends and family. All of a sudden you have maybe 20 people in front of you at least 
who have shown some sort of interest with Zaya. And now you get to talk to them about Zaya. Like they're there because they want to learn about Zaya. So you get to do your thing. You get to, you get to get to know these people. You get to share what you love about Zaya, your favorite products. You just get to share all these things with all of a sudden this new circle of people that maybe you never would have met before this, you know, before doing a party. It, all, it allows you to share Zaya and the business opportunity with a group of people who have already shown interest in learning more, which is kind of what I said. So they're just, it's amazing. You guys, parties, I don't know how you would go without parties. I just don't know. But anyway, setting up your hostess. Okay, so one thing that I feel like is important is really making sure that you are establishing expectations with your hostess. So when you are talking to your hostess about her party and getting her party going, you need to make sure that she knows she needs to be engaged. She can't just invite them to the group and then leave because that's not gonna do anything. She's not gonna get any rewards. Nobody's gonna be excited. So I always make sure I tell my hostesses, your friends know, love, and trust you. They don't know me. If you are excited about it, they will be too, right? They need to, they don't trust me. They don't know me. They're like, this girl's just trying to sell me something. How do I know that this Zaya is really that awesome? That's where the hostess comes in. She's in here raving about the product. She's tagging friends. She's engaging. She's just making it really fun and lighthearted and, you know, keeping her people excited. And then my job is to share the nitty gritty details about Zaya and about the product, right? So my job is to come in and say, these are the light and tights. This is why light and tights are the best for workouts. You know, these are my favorite bras. I'm gonna share, you know, how this one fits, what this outfit combo looks like. I'm in here sharing the details of Zaya and the product. You are the one to be excited, right? That's all she has to do. And usually my hostesses are pretty good about it. Help her get the word out. This is the script I give my hostesses. I always tell them, I'm like, hey, if you wanna use this, go for it. I'm like, it can be kind of cheesy, but some people, want it, right? Some people just want it to be able to copy, paste, and be done. Other people will take it, make it their own. You know, they'll add pictures. Maybe the, I send them pictures to add to their, to their posts. I'll send them pictures of like recent launches or of um, just like customer favorites. Like if I have a lot of customers ordering a certain product, I'll send that. So I'm always sending them this script for them to post their timeline. And then I include photos. And then I also include my website and I say, here's my website. If there are certain things that you want to go check out on my site that you feel like your friends and family are going to love, like add those to that post, because obviously I don't know their style. I don't know what they could be looking for. I'm just kind of going off of what my, my customers like. Right. So I do have girls do that. Girls will use my site. They'll go kind of sift through and pick out their favorite things. And then they share that with this script. So this script was passed down to me from my upline, Christy. I'm about 99% sure it got passed down from her upline, Natalie Swenson. So I've seen this actually from other teams even going out there, but this is the script. Where are my activewear lovers? I was recently introduced to a new activewear company. Such cute workout clothes at totally affordable prices and it's great quality. I'm going to be hosting a party here on Facebook. Who would be interested in checking it out? Comment below and I will add you to the group when it's all set up. Nothing says motivation like new workout clothes. So like I said, cheesy, but it gets the job done and they're always welcome to change it if they want to. And then I also make sure I include, this is the graphic, you guys. I picked this up like when I was, it was my first week as a rep. I have no idea who made it. It was like in a page and I use it still to this day. I send it to my reps. Uh, it just tells them, you know, some ideas for engaging, tagging friends, get them, get them involved in the group. It's just a nice little cheat sheet for them to make sure that they have a successful party. I feel like this graphic, I feel like, I want to say this graphic is in our unit section, but if it's not, I can certainly add it to there. Hold on, let me make a note. Um, I will double check, but I think it's in one of our units and in Kajabi in case you need it. So my advice for running your parties is I recommend running it through a group. 
I always run my parties in groups. It definitely is in the units. Perfect, Ashley. That makes me so happy. Thank you for sharing. Um, I do, I run my parties through a group every time. I used to, I started out with groups. I went through a period there where the Facebook algorithm didn't like groups very much. So I went with events, which worked fine. But my only complaint about events is that you can't schedule posts ahead of time. So you have to be present. Like you feel like you have to be plugged in the whole party, which is kind of frustrating. So um, I run mine through a group. I run it through my business page. So I have a business like page. It is my Rachel Thompson, Rachel T Fit Boutique like page. I run parties through that. And I do think that Facebook honors business page groups more than they would honor a group that is just run by a personal profile, if that makes sense. So I find, I've, I just found that I got a lot more views when I was running it through my business page. So that's what I started doing. And like I said, I just feel like Facebook kind of honors the business profile a little bit more than they do honor like a personal group. So just keep that in mind. If you're not getting a lot of views, consider setting up a Facebook like page. I use Post My Party. If you are not familiar with Post My Party or CentShare or another scheduling tool, I highly recommend you get one. It will save your life. It is worth the 10 bucks a month or whatever it is. And maybe if you're a brand new rep, that might sound intimidating to be like, oh, I gotta pay $9.99 a month for this program. But I promise you <laughs> that once you get going, once you figure out your routine, how you like your parties to run, Post My Party is going to make your life so much easier because all you have to do is you go in, you create a template for your party, and then you just link it to the Facebook group and it goes on its own. So you don't have to schedule posts the night before. You don't have to go in and schedule or post live. It'll just run for you. And it is a huge, huge time saver. So something like Post My Party or Since Share, I highly recommend doing. And especially from the beginning, actually, because that's when you're just building all your all your content anyway. You might as well build it on a platform that once it's built, you can just start sharing it. I always make sure that my hostess only adds people who say they want to join. If you've been in the business for a while, we've all had those people who they want to have a party, but then they, they just start plugging people in. They don't ask on their profile. They don't send out one-on-one -on -one messages. They're just icky about it and they just start adding people. Um, it doesn't go well. Your group will not go well. It, there will not be engagement in your party. Your, um, your party is going to feel dead typically because first of all, everybody's getting added to so many groups lately that if somebody just plugs you into a group, you're more likely to just ignore it. Right. I know I am. If somebody plugs me into a group, I'm like, ignore, I got enough groups going on. But if my friend were to message me and be like, Hey, I'm hosting a party for this. Do you want to get added? Or, you know, do you want me to plug you in? I'd be like, yeah, sure. And then I would be much more likely to check it out and maybe even buy because she sent me that message or because I told her on her profile that I wanted to be added. So make sure she knows to only add people who say they want to join. It's better to have fewer people who want to be there than a ton of people who don't want to be there. Like I said, I've, it's when you get a big group of people who don't want to be there, it's such a dud and it's so frustrating. So I've had parties where People did that and they had over 90 guests in their party and they got like $200 rewards. And then there's other people who had, I have another girl who had 13 people in her party and she hit the $1,000 rewards. So it's just all about putting the right people in there who want to shop and who are ready to shop. Okay, so these are some of my very first um, post. This is part of my party structure. I do a welcome post and I, so I, I typically run my parties from Monday to Friday, but I do like the intro stuff on Saturday and Sunday. So I always say day one is Monday, which is day one is the first day of product post. So I always say like day negative two, <laughs> day negative one, like backtracking, right? if that makes sense. So anyway, the welcome post is typically two days before I post products. It's just the only post I post that day. And I post one big longer post 
just with all of like the, the details of the party that they need to know, right? So I include the link to shop. I put that there's an entry into the $10 gift card giveaway so that they make sure they read that post so that they get, can get their name in the hat. I put how to contact me. I like to drive everything to my email. I use Streak to track my business, which is just a Gmail add-on if you're not familiar with it. And so I want everybody to go to my email inbox, right? So if they need, if they need something from me, I actually respond the fastest in email. So I put my email address at the top of my parties. I make sure I include my return policy and then I include an outline because I know that life gets crazy. And sometimes when I get plugged into, well, almost every time I get plugged into a party, I have no idea what's going on, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if I like missed the bus and I'm just always late to the party. I don't know what it is, but every time I get into online parties, I get lost and I have no idea what's going on and it drives me crazy. So I decided that I was going to make a party outline so that people knew what I was going to post about on what day. And I do feel like this has helped people to stay on track. And I tell them in the beginning when I'm doing a live, you know, I go live on the day before we do product posts and I tell them, I'm like, hey, it's going to be busy in here. I'm going to post a lot. You need to expect that and don't get overwhelmed by it. I'm like, I tell them when should they check in? I'm like, you know what? I know it's crazy. Just don't get overwhelmed. Check in in the morning or check in at nap time if your kids are, if you're at home with your kids. Check in at lunch if you have a lunch break. And then I say, always, always, always check in before you go to bed at night. I always tell them that. I make sure that they know that because people don't know, you guys. I mean, people don't know when they should be doing things. So we have to tell them. We have to say, hey, there's gonna be a lot going on. Check in at night. If you're only gonna check in once a day, check in at night. And I tell them to check in at night because that's when I do the giveaway posts. And I'm gonna go into detail about my giveaway posts in a minute, but I always do my giveaway posts in the evening because that's when most people are on, right? They're sitting in front of the TV, they're scrolling, they're laying in bed scrolling, that's when they're gonna see it most likely. So I tell them when to hop on. Um, and then in that, in that video, either in the video or at the bottom of my welcome post, I kind of mix it up because sometimes Facebook I don't know why, when I write the word giveaway in a live video, sometimes Facebook punishes me for that. <laughs> They're like, flag me or something. They've done it like three times. It's been a long time, but they used to flag me when I would put giveaway stuff in a live video. So I started just typing it out. I was like, okay, tell me where you're from. How do you know the hostess? And then what's really important is I always ask them, what do you like to do to stay active? And that's just like, it's kind of meant to be an icebreaker but it's also my way of just getting to know them a little bit and kind of giving me that edge to be like, okay, well, so-and-so is telling me that she's training for a half marathon. So I'm going to need to let her know that the light and tights are going to be the best lighting for that. And I need to let her know like, oh, this girl likes to go to CrossFit and she's telling me that she's interested in a high support bra. So, okay, I'm going to need to tag her when I post about the all-star bra, right? So asking that question, how do you like to stay active? Even if I don't use it right away, it's one of those things that if the party's dead or the hostess isn't engaging or something like that, that's kind of my fuel to go back in and start tagging these girls who commented on that post so that I can get them engaged and get them involved a little bit more. So I think that's a good question to ask people. I also, you know, will throw in, what are you shopping for? Just getting to know them and their specific needs is going to help you as the rep to know what products to show them and then what you yourself can actually tag them into. So, and there's my party outline, like I mentioned. Okay, so days one to three, like I said, our product posts, I run my like Monday through Friday as kind of the bulk of the party. So say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when I'm doing products. I do product collages and I actually take the website description and I put them on my graphics because I feel like, like I said, I get lost when I am in a Facebook party. I want somebody to just put the information in front of me. And sometimes 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but I've heard it a few times from people who are actually kind of close to me or like people who would, who I feel like wouldn't have any issues, but they struggle with our website. And I don't know if it's because, you know, every single copper charge tank is listed separately. You know, it's not like copper charge tank, click on it and then you pick the color you want. It's like all of our products are separate from each other. And so I think that that gets overwhelming for somebody who's coming to our site. So I have found that since I have started making these collages with the descriptions on them, they include like my fit recommendations, if it fits true to size, if I recommend they go up a size, I always include all of those things on the graphics because that just is so much easier for them when they're shopping to look and say, okay, I see now that there are, what do we have, eight copper charge tanks. So when they go to the website, it's not gonna be so crazy for them when they're looking at that. So I feel like these have been huge. There are a lot of work up front I make my graphics in Canva, and like I said, it takes a long time. But once you have it done, you know, start with the staple pieces, copper charge tanks, all-star bras, light and tights, jogger, unwind joggers, you know, kind of some of those things that we have had forever and that are staples. And then you can always add in more later or like do a couple of collages a week until you have it all built up or whatever works for you. But once you have it done, I swear it is going to make your party so much smoother is they just help so much. So when it comes to products, obviously I do these collages and then I also make sure I do a live each day, Monday through Wednesday. And those are the product review days. So, you know, I'll usually do like an outfit of the day review. And I, one thing that I found, and this is the quote I always remember when I do my lives, is that I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And that is my goal. Whenever I do a live in my parties, I'm like, my goal is to get them to see how Zaya makes me feel. They're not going to probably remember that I'm wearing a light and tight, and they're not probably going to remember that I'm wearing a bomber bra, but they are going to remember that I was excited about it. They're going to remember that it made me feel really confident and that I was happy and I was enthusiastic to share this product with them. And I think that that alone can go a long ways because a lot of people will then message me or email me, oh yeah, I saw that you had on your live. What were you wearing again? And um, I just feel like when they get a feel for how it makes you feel, that's what sets Zaya apart from the competitor, right? From Nike, Under Armour, Lulu, Athleta, whatever it might be. It's you. You are the person setting Zaya apart. So make sure that when you do your lives, you're excited about it and you feel good about it. And you make sure that they know you feel good about it. If you have a mommy pooch and you're laying tight, suck that in. You better show that in a video. <laughs> just, just you got to put yourself out there because that's the stuff people can relate to. And even if they don't even listen to your live, I can't tell you how many girls tell me or me and my girls are like, I love watching your lives. Well, I don't really listen to them, but I just kind of watch them. <laughs> as long as they see me excited and they see what I'm doing, that's all they care about. So just be excited, you guys. Don't just share like, I oh, had a bad day and these light tights are great. Like nobody wants to wear a legging that makes you feel like that, right? Okay, I digress. Giveaway posts in the evenings, like I mentioned, we'll talk about that on the next slide. And then day four is, day four is really like my wrap up info, you know, letting them know I have a VIP group, posting the party poll, which I have up here. Um, this is mine, I can, I can share that with you guys or there's a bunch in marketing designs or just make your own, they're really easy on Canva. But that's a really good way to see where people are at. And then on day four, I go live again. And on day four, I share my story. So this is when I talk about my Zaya story. I share how I became a rep, you know, how I heard about it, who I was before Zaya, why I love Zaya now. And then I invite them to join me. And I would say that that has probably been the biggest tool for growing my business is people hear my story in a, in a party and they hear something, you know, they hear part of themselves in my story. And if you're not going live and talking through that, sometimes 
that it's going to get missed, right? If you just post like join my team, how many times has somebody been asked to join somebody's team? A million times. But if you go in there and you do a live and you talk about why you love Zaya, why is Zaya different from everything else? Why, you know, how has it impacted you in your life? All of a sudden, it's not just like this invite to be a rep. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, she's a real human who I've been partying with all week long, and this is her story. And I get that. Like, I relate to that story. I want to learn more. So you have to go live, you guys. The lives are so key throughout the entire party. You know, whether it's product posts or sharing your story, you just have to get really comfortable doing both because it is going to be, it is going to be the game changer in your parties and in your business. And then day five, I just kind of wrap up shopping. I recognize people's orders throughout the party, but you know, for sure on day five, if I haven't already. And then when I recognize orders, I don't just put thank you, but actually share what people ordered. You guys, it creates so much FOMO when you do that. Danny, I go live every day um, except for Friday. So I go live on Sunday and I say, welcome to the party, introduce myself. Um, talk about Zaya a little bit. And then on day, the first day of product posts. So Sunday's welcome. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I share product reviews. And then Thursday I go live and I share my story. So I go live five times in a party. And sometimes you guys, depending on the party, I will, if I'm like really motivated to get a lot of sales or if I'm trying to hit some goals or my, or my um, hostess is super engaged, and I want to keep her party like really fun and active, I'll go live twice in a day. I've done that a lot. Um, or if people are interested in certain products, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'll go live in that, you know? And so if I have a lot of people commenting on joggers, but I wasn't planning to wear a jogger review, then all of a sudden I'm, I am dropping what I'm doing and I'm going live in joggers because they want to see them, you know? So you have to be, be willing to be vulnerable and like change what you're doing and and just go with it because if they want to see something specific definitely go live in that it makes a huge difference but yeah sharing what they order is going to make a huge it creates fomo so much how many posts a day roughly that you schedule um so probably like eight i would say and i can look at my template for that too but i Hold on, I can share a party with you guys here. I pulled one up in case I would need it. Um, let me see if I can share a different screen. Here is a different, so here is a party I did back in July for my aunt. And um, you can see, first of all, I'll just talk about how I post my parties or how I do my posts. You can see that I do like, a title page and then I do my graphics with it. So that all of the jackets or the majority of the jackets are together in one post. I don't just post a bunch of products randomly. I'm, I put them, I group them, I like bunch them together. And I have found that that has been huge for my guests too because they aren't getting lost. You know, they're not hearing about one type of legging in the morning and then another type in the afternoon and then they're not sure how to compare them. Um, I try to bunch everything together and then with, so there I am going live. And then for example, on things like leggings, I went through marketing designs and I picked out like, well, this is from our online office. I picked out like a sizing guide and I included that in the leggings post. I included this in the leggings post so that people can see that there are different lengths. Um, let's see if it goes to the next one here. And then I've done that like with joggers. I include this with light and tights. This is just, I pulled all these from the marketing designs group. Um, just all kinds of anything that anybody might need to know regarding leggings is gonna go on this post. So that's how I kind of group my posts. And I think that that does help too. Like this, I grabbed a short size guide. I let people know, I'm like, hey, I don't have every single product on here. So make sure you do check out the site. But I'm like, I try to share as much of it with you as possible. 
Um, Alyssa, can we join one of your previous parties to see the layout and posts? Yes. Danny, so size guides you post with the products, not a separate post before you do the party. I do, um, I've done both. I usually will do a, I don't know if I did it in this party. I've started doing a, like a general size guide. Here it is. I did do it this time. I post, post this in my pinned post, but then when it comes to like specific like tanks or leggings or joggers, then I try to post a, gu a guide that goes with those in that post, if that makes sense. So this is in the top in my pinned post. And then I also include this too. So people know what the, the tags are about. Um, but yeah, that's how I go about sizing. And then I also tell them that there's size guides on the site. <laughs> You don't know how many people need to know that. <laughs> like you guys. Also, I have size guides here, here, and here on the site. So go check for them. But um, yeah, so this, I can definitely add you guys to a party. One thing that I will say about, um, like I am definitely want to share these things with you, but it's also really important for you guys to know that and this is something we're going to train on in October to make sure that your graphics are specific to you. Because if I add you to this party and then everybody starts using the same graphics, Facebook is going to see that and then we're all going to get booted out. <laughs> that we're all going to get the shutdown from Facebook. They will lock us out. They'll make us change our password. I got locked out of Facebook for like 48 hours one time and it was the scariest thing in my life because my business is all on Facebook. So just make sure that I am so happy to share with you guys so you can get ideas, but I do ask that you make it your own. So take it, make it your own so that Facebook doesn't look at all of us and go, oh, they're all doing the same thing. Let's lock them out because that's spammy. Um... Please add me to a party. I love the look and organization of your parties. Promise I won't copy, but rather use it as ideas. Betsy, that's perfect. Thank you very much. And I'm so, I'm so happy to add you guys to these two for sure. Okay. So I'm was going to talk about giveaways next with the, um, okay, hold on. Before I go on, I will just post, um, I'll, I'll just share like a link to like this party, for example, in the Zaya Inspiration group, if anybody wants to check it out. So I will do that because I probably won't remember who to all tag. I'm too stingy for Canva, but I made my own graphics just using Google drawings and that worked great. That's perfect. Whatever works for you, for sure. Canva does have a free, a free version too. Um, so you don't have to pay for it, but you can if you want to totally up to you. So when it comes to giveaways, I do my giveaway posts in the evenings. And this is one thing that I'm, this is like one of the things about my business that I'm like really, I'm like passionate about this. And it's a kind of, it's kind of weird, you guys, <laughs> like who cares, right? But I really feel like this is important. When I do giveaways, I make people look at product. I do not do games in my parties. And that might be something that you know people swear by and maybe they use them and that's great whatever you use to get engagement do it for me i am very passionate about sharing product because when i get into a party with somebody i'm like i'm here to see this product right like i'm here to see this makeup or whatever it might be so show it to me i don't want to play a game i want to look at what what i'm shopping for and so I took that idea because I felt so strongly about it. And I decided to do two of my giveaway entries around product. So the first one that I do, well, the first giveaway entry is introduce yourself. Tell me what you like to do to stay active. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And then the second one, which I tell them giveaway entry two of three is flat lays. And I tell them to comment on their favorite, on their favorite combo so that I can you know, engage with them. But then once they comment, then they get their name into the box for name into the hat for a $10 gift card, right? So I do flat lays. You guys, I've made all these flat lays. Um, you're welcome to use them if you want to, but I definitely recommend just making some. I know it sounds intimidating, but really if you like every time you get a Zaya order, 
just like lay it out with a couple of other things and snap a few pictures. It makes a huge difference. But people like to look at flat lays a lot. They love to look at different combos, try putting different colors and patterns together, things that maybe people wouldn't think of. Try doing like colors, do one that's like black with a pop of color. This one always gets so many people. Everybody loves this one because it's just black and then it's got the bright red and it's got the fun bra. So go through and make some flat lays. That's what I do for one of them because I want them to look at the product. And then the other giveaway that I do is um, the, I make them look at pictures of reps wearing the clothes. So I go into marketing designs and I'm pulling out, I got to find the post. I'm pulling out all the pictures that I can see that maybe my people would like. Anything with current products that we have or like new products, I'm including those. <clears throat> and let's see, where is that post? I must've got lost. I mean, you probably get, get the gist, but. Okay, right here. So this is the third giveaway entry that I do. And then I think there's some key things to note here is I'm not just like, for this one, I'm not like comment on your favorite. I say to them, which do you, which look do you like best? Which could you see yourself wearing? Would you dress up your Zaya? So all of a sudden I'm asking them to put themselves in the shoes of these ladies in these pictures and see themselves in these clothes, right? Like, could you do that? So I go through and I, again, grabbed all these from marketing designs. There's Jen, she's on our team. And I'm just sharing these pictures of girls in different combos. And I like to try to include things that are dressed up, dressed down, kind of a mix of both. I try to go find different, different body types. Um, I love these pictures. There's so many cute girls, Zaya, you guys. I, will, I just love it. So that's what I do for my other giveaway. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting them to look at product, okay? So like I said, it's something I'm weird about, something I feel like is kind of a game changer. And actually, if I'm being honest, if my people don't see any other posts in my entire party, but they see this post and they see my flat lace post, I know that my party is gonna do fine. Like that's how I truly feel because this is, this is the stuff people wanna see. They don't wanna see stock photos. They wanna see people taking regular iPhone pictures, sharing how cute they look in these clothes. And they wanna see their confidence. Like, look at this girl, like look at how freaking confident she is. Every single picture in marketing designs, you guys, if you scroll through that group, if you ever need a mood booster, scroll through that, that group and look at how happy everybody looks in their Zaya. I love that group so much and it makes me happy to scroll through there and it, it shows, it shows that these girls feel confident in these clothes and that's something that you should really be sharing with your prospects. So, um, where was I at here? Um, oh no, back. Okay, so gift card. Um, I showed you guys the, the, the posts that I like to do. Um, I do give away a gift card 99% of the time. You could also say like earn yourself a free tank. You know, if you do a product, make sure that they have to order something in order to qualify for the free product. Because I made the mistake once of giving away product and I, they didn't have to order something. And then of course, like the one girl who didn't order anything one. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. But hey, I'm getting more product into people's hands, so it's fine. But I learned from that. Um, so that's my notes on the giveaway. Do you guys have any, I'm going really fast through this because I'm sharing all the things. So, and I trust that you guys will pop into the chat if you have questions, but does anybody have any questions at the moment? While well, I get a drink. Will you share this PowerPoint? Yes, absolutely. I will definitely do that. We will add this to <clears throat> Let's Party in our units and in our Kajabi for sure. Okay. So as I mentioned, um, 
You know, I rely on my hostesses a lot. I make sure that they know that their job is to tag friends, like the giveaway post, um, party pool, anything that she thinks that her friends would like. I'm checking in with her frequently, asking her like, hey, have you talked to anybody? What do your friends think? Do they have any questions? Just making sure that she's asking them on behind the scenes. And even if she's not, <laughs> sometimes they'll tell me they are. And I'm like, eh, I don't know if you are, but that's okay. Then it usually will spark something for them to post in the group. And when they post in the group, that always helps. So, you know, just me having that relationship with the hostess is really, it's a really key to her party doing well. Because whether she's talking to them or she starts posting, it usually works out pretty well. Respond to every comment. So, oh, sheesh, about knocked over my light. Okay, respond to every comment. So we have these giveaway posts, right? Those are really the ones that are gonna drive up the engagement in the group. And the way, the best way to do that is to comment, respond to every single comment that anybody makes. So don't just like it, but like respond back. If there are five people who like the same flat lay, you're gonna go through and tell them, Oh, I'm so glad you like this one. I love the pop of red in that copper charge tank. You know, you're going to make it really specific to, to that picture, right? Be engaging, be conversational with people. Ask them a question back. Oh, do you like the grid bra? Did you see the leopard one? Are you a leopard fan? You know, like asking questions. And that's a really good way to get to know people too, is through those giveaway posts and then asking questions off of those. Tagging ladies on product posts, I think they like. Again, remember I said at the beginning, I asked them what they like to do to stay active. So I go back through and I'll, this is kind of the time, usually about day three or day four, I'm gonna start tagging them in some things if they're not engaging anymore. So um, make sure that I know what they like and then make sure the engagement posts are posted at night. And then friend request the guests. So I don't recommend doing it all at once because Facebook is going to see you as spam and they're going to get mad at you, but go through like, you know, even if it's like the first day, just friend request three to five people. And then the next day find three to five more people in that group to friend request, because if they accept your friend request, they will start seeing more posts in the group because you are the admin of your business page. So they're going to start seeing that. And then also they're just going to probably start to check out your timeline and if you've been posting on your timeline all of a sudden they're going to get to know a little bit more about you you're going to get access to their timeline so you can go comment on their stuff and just be friends and like get to know them a little bit but it's really important that we do friend request the guests because once that party's over like what if they just peace out right <laughs> but if you're friends with them you're gonna can you can continue to build that relationship with them and then maybe they will turn into a hostess later on maybe they'll buy later on maybe they'll want to rep you just never know all about making connections with what we do so if somebody orders in my parties, I will immediately invite them to my VIP group. They send them immediately a direct message and I will say, so my kind of my routine is that I'll, I'll recognize their post in the party and then I send them, if I haven't friend requested them already, I'll send them a friend request and then I will send them a message and I'll say, hey, Karen, thank you so much again for ordering during Susie's party. I can't wait for you to get your light and tights and all star bra. I'm reaching out to let you know that your order actually qualifies you for seven entries into my monthly giveaway, which is a free legging this month. When you can tell people that you're giving away a legging, they're like, oh, okay. Would you like me to plug you into my VIP group so you can qualify? This is how I funnel people over from parties into my VIP group. People are not gonna just join your VIP group from posting the link. Like you might get a couple of people here and there, like a couple people in your parties that every party that want to join your VIP group, but people really need to be invited one-on-one -on -one, and they needed to be invited, like they need to be enticed. So if you can tell them that their order is going to get them entries into your monthly giveaway, that is going to make them a little bit more likely to be like, yeah, add me in. I'm like, oh, okay, sounds good. So if you're clueless on what I'm talking about with the VIP group giveaway, which I'm realizing I don't have my September giveaway done yet. <laughs> 
I'm so grateful my VIP girls love me. They're the best. Um, but I run this giveaway. I would say majority of the girls on our team will do a monthly giveaway. And this is totally up to you how much you want to, you know, put into it, what you want to give away. But one thing I will say is that I believe that putting something in your giveaway that people really want is important. Like something that people really want, but they don't want to spend the money on, like a legging, for example, or a bomber jacket, or, you know, an all-star bra or whatever it might be. Like if that's out of your range, budget range, like that's okay. But just know that as you start to build your business and you start earning an income, definitely invest in this giveaway because you can use that to drive people to your business. You can use it to entice people to host for you, right? Hey, my hostesses are getting 20 entries towards a free legging this month. Do you want to host a party? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> so, you know, having a giveaway like this is it's enticing hostesses to host. It's enticing people to order because they're getting entries towards it. I've had so many customers be like, oh, okay, so I really wanted this shirt. And then I saw that I was going to get entries towards a free legging. And so I just did it anyway. <laughs> They've told me that a lot. So definitely the doing a giveaway like this in your VIP group is going to help your business. People will start posting on social because they'll want to get five entries. They'll post in your group. They add friends. It's just a really great way to have get referrals and to get your business, keep it kind of moving once you get it going. So, which leads me to, so we kind of talked about the party, kind of what happens right after the party, how I filter them over into my VIP group. And then it's like, okay, now what? I got, I did a party and it went great, but now I need hostesses. So my biggest thing, and this was, and I say the mindset adjustment because it was something that I had to learn in the beginning of my business is that I had to have an adjustment on how I thought about parties because in the beginning, I didn't understand them. I didn't really like them. I didn't want to be a part of them. So like, why would I want to run them for other people? But then I realized that, that running parties for people is a way that I get to serve them. I get to help them get rewards. I'm very, I get kind of giddy about that. Like I get to help these people get Zaya for free and half off. Like that's my job is to help them get this, these amazing clothes for less. And so once I realized like that's what I do and that's how I serve people, all of a sudden it's not like I need more sales. I want to get sales because I have a goal. Uh, no, it's like, how many people can I help get these clothes in their hands for free and half off? So I, I say that having a servant mindset is important because it, it shifts the way that you talk to people. So if you're talking to people about hosting just because you want to get more sales, it's going to be icky. It's going to feel icky. They're not going to want to host. They're going to feel like you're being icky. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel good. But if you're like, Hey, I, I don't know if you're interested. I know you really love the clothes because you placed a huge order in so-and-so's party. Um, so I don't know if this is anything you'd be interested in, but do you want to host a party? Cause I really love getting people who love Zaya free and half off Zaya. <laughs> and they're like, uh, I can do that. Yeah. I want to do that. So just speaking from the heart, letting them know that you're going to get them rewards, be really confident in your ability to get them rewards. And I think you'll be surprised at, at how people re will respond to hosting a party. Leverage your VIP giveaway. Like I mentioned before, you can get 20 entries towards my giveaway if you host a party, that kind of a thing. Um, I always, when I invite to host, I try to end my invite with the phrase, should we check out some dates? Because then all of a sudden it's like, oh, there, she's going to throw some dates at me. Sure. That sounds good. That works. Cause for example, I offered to host a party. This happened to me just last night. I, I really love mascara makeup, you guys. So I might host a party just so you know, if you want to be in it, let me know. But I really like their makeup and I've been in a couple parties. I've placed pretty decent orders and I was talking to the rep or the girl who's always been my rep. And I'm like, Hey, I think I'd be interested in hosting a party. She's like, great, let's do it. 
And like, that was it. Like, that's how she left it. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like press for this. You know, if you have dates, shoot them my way. So I didn't respond. So if she sends me dates, great. But I try to end my invites with, should we check out some dates? Because I want to help my hostess decide, you know, what to do. Because if somebody has never hosted with you before, they probably don't even know, they don't know what to do. Like, okay, great. Let's, let's do a party. And then they're like, uh, how do I do it? So just take the reins and really make sure that you are asking them and like directing them with how they can host so that we can take the pressure off of them. And then they're going to want to commit more if we can take that pressure off of them, off of it being awkward and weird and uncomfortable. So, um, post your calendar of available dates. So this is something that I always did in my VIP group when I first started out. This is definitely how I got my business rolling is that I would post something like this. I only have two openings left next month for parties. So if you're interested in earning some free and half off Zaya, comment below or message me. The first to get in touch, will get them. And I do, I post my calendar. I would say, you know, a couple weeks are booked, a couple weeks are open. That creates that FOMO, right? That fear of missing out. They're like, oh, she's only got two weeks left. Well, I kind of want to host. I think I could make that week work, right? So posting this calendar is surprisingly effective. <laughs> and, um, and then also when you're reaching out to people in one-on-one -on -one conversations, you can be like, hey, this is my calendar. You can shoot this to them. You can post this to your public profile. You could put this in your stories and be like, um, you know, respond. You could do like a poll and be like, do you want to book one of these weeks? And then put one week that you're available, the other week you're available. And if somebody clicks it, be like the first person to click gets that week. You mean you could reach out to them and, and do that. So there's so many ways that you can post your availability, but definitely posting that is going to get more interest with others once they see like what you actually have available. Order follow-up, like I mentioned. Um, so when they, somebody orders, I, I recognize their order in the party. I send them a direct message and I say like, hey, so-and-so, um, do you want to join my VIP group? And then after about a, another week or two, usually it's like a couple weeks later after I know they've gotten their product, I know they've had time to try it on and maybe even had time to wear it. I'm going to send them another follow-up. And it just, it kind of depends on my relationship with them. Like if it's somebody I felt like I really connected with in the party, I'm going to message them through Facebook. And if it's somebody who's, I'm not really that, I like don't even really know who they are. I didn't really connect with them that much. I might just send them an email and follow up. Um, but either way, I'm going to send them a message and be like, Hey, just wanted to see how you're loving your Zaya. Does it fit? You know, remind them of the return policy. Let me know if there's anything I can help with. And then once they come back to me and they're like, oh, I love my Zaya, it fits great. Um, I might order more soon, whatever it might be. Then I'm going to say something like this. I'm going to say, yay, I'm so glad that you love it as much as I do. I'd love to get you some more for free and half off. Are you interested in hosting an online party? I have two openings left this month, or we can look at some look at September or whatever month. Should I send over some dates? So should I send over some dates? Um, and then depending on how much enthusiasm they'll show, I might even throw at the bottom of that message. Or if you ever want more info on the rep side of things, just let me know. I'd love to have you on this crazy rep journey with me. Usually when I add both of those in there, they're more likely to come back with a, I, maybe I'll host first type of thing. You know, they're kind of like, oh, well, now the seed has been planted about being a rep, but I think I'm going to host just to see how it goes. So that's a good way to just kind of like, if you're worried about being too direct with somebody you don't know that well yet, just kind of throwing that in there really plants the seed at the bottom. <laughs> um, very few people will be like, yeah, I want a rep, but you never know. And then if you ever have anybody who has a cost objection to Zaya, obviously being hostess is the best way to help them because you are helping them get Zaya for free and half off. So, um, you know, if they're saying, oh, I really like the product, but it's just too expensive. Be like, then I'll come back and say, oh, 
oh yeah, well, did you know that as a hostess, you can get it for free and half off? Do you want to check out some dates for hosting, hosting an online party? That's how I would handle a cost objection. Sometimes they respond, sometimes they don't. It just depends on the person. But any questions, you guys? I feel like I threw a lot at you. Um, I will share a party that I did with you guys in the Zions for Nation group. And we will share the slideshow and the recording as well for the PowerPoint. Um, okay, hold on. I think I missed one. So I tell my hostesses to invite friends with a post where they have to ask to join, but 80% of the time they don't listen and just invite friends. I've even got invited to other parties whom I am friends with on Facebook. What do you say? It's so frustrating. It is frustrating. And I think that... I, I think that some people do do that, but I would just make sure that you tell your hostess straight up at the beginning, just say, hey, do not plug people in unless they say they want to join because your party is not going to go well. Like I tell them that it's not going to go well and it's going to leave us both working hard for little to no rewards. Like I have that phrase in my email that I send my hostesses. <laughs> like do not invite people. It will leave us both working hard with little to no rewards. And typically they listen. So if they do it, then I would just follow back up with them and say, you need to, I've done this before. You need to direct message every single person you added to this party and let them know that they are in this party. And you need to let them know why you invited them to this party. And if they're not willing to do that, then, then I don't, I don't really work for them. If their party's a dud, um, I show up, but I don't show up with the same enthusiasm as I would you know, if my hostess is working hard with me. So I do have them one-on-one -on -one message people. <laughs> Maybe I'm kind of mean, I don't know. How many parties did it take for you to be so comfortable? Um, I mean, it takes a while. It took a little while. Like at the very first party I did, I would say the first three parties I did were duds, like complete duds. I had like one part, one order in one party. I think the other one maybe got like two orders, but not enough to get 200. The other party had no orders. Um, so I think it just takes a handful, you know, until you kind of get your feet under you and you find your style and kind of how you like to do things. But um, like I said, if you just show up with enthusiasm and excitement for what you're doing, I feel like that makes the biggest difference in the, in the world. Um, great info. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Of course, Jennifer, I hope that it helps. I hope it's not overwhelming. Like you guys, I've been doing parties for, you know, over two years now. So if looking at collage posts and looking at my party is overwhelming, you know, take it step by step. <laughs> you don't have to do it as elaborate as mine. You know, I've done a lot of parties. I've switched things up. I just found that this is a really good format that works. So, you know, if you can, if you can make it work for you, definitely do it. You might have to set aside some time in the morning or in the evening to make collages or get your template set up and post my party, but it will be, it will be worth it. Don't get overwhelmed. Just take it one day at a time for sure. I don't even know how many people are we on. Does anybody else have questions? Thank you so much. I always learn something every time from you. Appreciate it. Oh, good, Danny. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you were able to hop on. I'm going to lose my voice, you guys. I must have been, I get excited. <laughs> I get excited about my parties. I don't know why. It's like one of those things that I feel like I'm a big nerd, but it's fine. Thank you so much. I learned so much and having way less anxiety about this. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm so glad. And, and just know that if you, you're new or everything feels overwhelming, it will not always feel overwhelming. Just remember that. And I always tell my team too, I'm like, you know, it takes, if you go to a new desk job, you know, you go there and you have to find the pencil sharpener and you're not gonna know where the pencil sharpener is. So you have to go look for it. And maybe you get there and you don't know where the cafeteria is and where to eat lunch and you just, figure it all out. And the first little while is always kind of tricky, but the more you do it, you just get relaxed and it becomes second nature. So 
You guys will be great. You guys will be great. All right. Well, if there are no more questions, I can let you guys go. I hope my children sleep through the night tonight. That's my goal. Stop share. There we go. All right. Well, have a good night, you guys. See you later. Bye.